Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. Sir, how do the planets form? How do planets form? Um, not very well understood. Humbling. Okay, we, here we are discussing the Big Bang and this and that. We don't even know how the planets form. The stars form, but it's it's related. The density of hydrogen or, or density of any, any matter, an amount that's greater than a critical density, then gravitational forces cause it to clump together. That causes pretty much anything to form, okay, a star or a planet. The difference being with a star, a nuclear burning at the center, in a planet there's no such thing. Beyond that, th there are many more complicated processes. Uh, there are waves and other things, which, but all of those act to clump the matter. Once the matter is clumped beyond a certain, um, beyond a certain critical density, then gravity takes over and makes that process run away and make things, you know, solid. It is considered that from a big chunk of a, what can say, a meteor or a comet, it was crashed by a smaller one and from the chunks which blew from that blast, the planets were formed. So is it true? Just like fr from the Earth's blast, the moon was formed, it is considered. So is it true like that the planets were formed? So It would be very unlikely to blow a chunk Comet would not blow much of a chunk from the sun, not enough to form planets the size of Earth or Jupiter or even or even Mercury, for example. So I think uh, what Prasad was talking about is the most uh, popular model that uh, planets are leftover bits and pieces which remain behind when the sun formed. And slowly over a period of time, they condense to form planets, just the way the sun formed out of the cloud of gas. Uh, planets also found out of smaller clouds of gas. 50 years ago, people used to think there's an enormous, uh, very di distinct difference between the formation of planets and stars. Now we know that it's actually a whole continuum of uh, masses. Uh, there is no real gap between planets and stars, except that if uh, an object has sufficient mass, then it can uh, have nuclear fusion inside the core and so become a star. If the planet doesn't have sufficient mass, uh, if an object doesn't have sufficient mass, then it remains a planet. So that's so the current there, understanding. So then are there dwarf planets formed in these ways? Uh, like it's pretty much any any object in the universe would be formed in this manner. How was the moon formed and what is its composition? I believe one of the theories for, uh, again, we don't really know. Okay, we have to preface all these answers with this. <laughs> not, not, not very well known. But most likely the moon was formed due to an impact of some large object on the earth. Okay, and it was torn apart from the earth. And the composition of the moon is not too different from... This holds for most of the moons around planets. They were torn apart from the parent uh, by collision, by some sort of collision. Again, somewhat uncertain. Not very sure. Yeah. Sir, so is the composition of the moon almost like uh, formed from some of the elements of or the composition of the uh, actual planet? But different enough to cause concern to the moon. It's very similar. Mm. but not identical, which means you're a little concerned about why is it not identical. It was a chunk fallen from the earth, so then how did it end up being spherical? Asking why are most things in the universe spherical, I mean, that has to do with more mechanics than anything else. Say, you, you, take, a, you take a ball of, uh, you know, atta, and you rotate it around. Huh? Why does it tend to form a sphere more than anything else? Unless, of course, it's very pliant, Okay, and you tend to give it a certain angular momentum axis, and then it spreads out into a chapati. Okay, if that's not the case, it has to do with composition. Uh, I think any fluid system will gravitate into a sphere, into a circular object, a spherical object. Uh, again, if, if the moon actually formed not from the earth, but from the debris surrounding the earth, just like the earth became a ball, then the moon would also become a ball. If the moon was actually gouged out of the earth, one possibility, possibility is that the, the, the shock of the impact vaporized the material, in which case it again became a gas, in which case once again it will become a spherical object. I think one of the things we need to understand uh, in astronomy is that there is often more than one explanation. And what we are trying to find out is the explanation which most matches our understanding of physics that it doesn't violate any known these things. We are still not 100% sure whether it formed out of the earth or formed from debris around the earth. So depending on that, why it became circular, uh, 
would be an issue because there are smaller objects which are not circular. Many asteroids are not circular because presumably they first formed out of a breakup of larger objects and so therefore they never actually went through a gaseous phase so they never actually circularized as uh, became spherical and then if we say that the moon came out of the earth so then why is the ground of the earth different than the ground type of the moon in fact people say that the moon fits into the pacific ocean but it's true pacific ocean is big enough to accommodate the moon it's a huge 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 basin but of course it's mostly speculation but are you are you asking why does the moon why is the appearance of the moon different from no no the ground type of the earth so then it isn't similar to the soil we have here or the or oh, lunar soil it is actually similar but then the other thing is because the moon doesn't have an atmosphere craters when something there, there are bodies striking the moon all the time okay and so if craters are formed they're just left like like that there's no there's no settling down of dust or anything there's no rubbing around no no it it just so the, the appearance is quite different Thank you.